Thank you for inviting me to this COP27 UNESCO side event on uh, the role of basic sciences in climate change mitigation. In my keynote address, I will uh, uh, discuss more widely the role of basic sciences in sustainable development. Uh, I will describe the main outcomes presently coming from the uh, International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development. So for this, uh, let me share a presentation with you. First, uh, I will uh, show you a short, brief video, short video, one minute, to uh, demonstrate the uh, uh, interest of uh, curiosity-driven sciences, basic sciences, for sustainable development. The rationale is much better given by this video that I could, uh, what I could show you with slides. Curiosity about the world around us is what makes us human. This desire to make sense of the world is the driving force behind fundamental science. Stirred by this curiosity, each new generation of scientists adds to the pool of knowledge built up by previous generations. We are at a crucial time for the future of our planet. Now, more than ever, it is imperative to use this pool of knowledge to help solve the global problems we face and pave the way for a more sustainable development. And we must not stop being curious. Future generations will be inspired by the knowledge we contribute today, equipping them with the powerful tools they need to build a better world. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it has been done by CERN, and it is my grandniece uh, who is uh, starring. She's uh, 13 years old. A few words in addition uh, to develop this rationale of basic sciences for sustainable development. Uh, first, uh, basic sciences are not always and everywhere considered as they deserve in the discussions concerning the societal, environmental, and economic development. Although we know that curiosity-driven sciences construct the pool of knowledge which future generations will use for their development. We know also that the curiosity-driven sciences re-enchant our world and make it worse to be sustainable. Basic sciences explore the soul of the universe. Serendipity plays a role uh, Long-term funding is necessary because uh, you have unpredictable results. It is a source of disruptive innovations. Also, viewed from the past, basic sciences are the foundations of sciences and serve education. They facilitate open multicultural dialogue. 2022 is midterm of the Agenda 2030, so this is why this international year was uh, IYBSSD 2022. Uh, 2022 is a year of celebrations for several scientific unions and learned societies uh, centenary. This international year got the support of 50 international unions and organizations, part of the steering committee. They, funded, they are funding the international year. We have also an, ad an international advisory committee with 110 science academies, scientific networks, and learned societies. 31 Nobel laureates and field medalists uh, and constitute the High Patronage Committee. We got, obviously, the support of UNESCO, but also of the World Science Forum, the Club of Rome, the Interparliamentary Union. All these unions, organizations, academies, networks, and associations are the foundations for the success of the year and for further, further initiatives 
beyond this international link. This is a real asset for the future. Here you see the logos of the 50 uh, unions and uh, organizations. Examples of what we have in mind by uh, 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 putting forward the basic sciences for sustainable development. We know that vaccines and treatments against COVID-19 are full of basic biology. The web was born at CERN from the needs of fundamental science. Google research engine comes from a brilliant mathematical idea. Artificial intelligence relies on statistical methods. Cellular phones are full of transistors integrated circuits. GPS relies on Einstein's theory of relativity and on quantum atomic clocks. The genome project has opened the way to gene therapies. PET scan and MRI are based on antimatter physics and fundamental at atomic magnetism. Gener generation and the storage of renewable energy depends on advances in physics, chemistry, and material sciences. Reduction in pollution and green chemistry rely on basic advances in chemistry. The second quantum revolution is having now applications. Quickly, the history of uh, IYBSSD 2022. The idea was proposed in January 2017 to the International Basic Science Program of uh, uh, UNESCO. The resolution uh, for, uh, was adopted by UNESCO General Assembly recommending the proclamation of this international year by the UN General Assembly. Uh, it was, as I said, supported by the World, World Science Forum and by the Interparliamentary Union. And finally, it was proclaimed by consensus by the 76th United Nations General Assembly on December 2nd, 2021, brought by Honduras with the support of many countries and by consensus. The tentative list of topics uh, are basic sciences and multicultural dialogue and peace. Uh, also an education and human development, uh, women and more generally uh, equity, diversity and inclusion, open sciences, basic sciences, innovation, economy and sustainability sciences. This is very important. Basic sciences, health and life sciences, basic sciences and global challenges and glo global public as a global public good, basic sciences and hazards, basic sciences and big data. The opening ceremony took place only on uh, uh, July 8th, 2022, due to the late uh, proclamation uh, in December by the UN General Assembly in December 2021. Uh, it was very, very well attended, attended, a large audience, and with uh, uh, high level representatives, both from uh, uh, decision makers and from the scientific world. Uh, it was a wonderful event. So we had a round table with many ministers and Nobel laureates, with many, another round table with many scientists, the role of basic sciences in, the, in, in developing societies. Uh, and finally, uh, perspectives of basic sciences and sustainable development with many people, uh, which was run by Mamfele, Mamfele who is the co-chair of the Club of Rome. The closing ceremony is expected at CERN in Geneva in October 6, 2023. So in fact, the year will span over two years, 2022 and 2023. There will be hundreds of events, we know that, but there are few flagship events, hopefully in each continent. We had already uh, two flagship events, plus this opening ceremony. So I will give you the uh, out, present outcome of this international year coming from the um, opening ceremony and the two flagship events in Vietnam and uh, in, uh, in Serbia. So the statement of the um, uh, opening ceremony, the outcome of, of the op opening ceremony, which was uh, well stated, basic sciences are curiosity uh, and inquiry driven. They are the foundations of education and the sources of discoveries which turn into applications. They can serve, they can then serve an inclusive sustainable development, improving global equity and well being together with a healthy and lively planet. All together, education, discoveries, applications, and inclusive sustainable development can boost collaborative and open basic sciences. This is a virtuous circle 
that we want to promote during the International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development at after. To achieve this goal, we shall need you, teachers, scientists, the private sector, decision makers, and society at large to share this vision and act uh, accordingly. So, as I said, this is placing the climate in a, in a climate challenge in a wider context, which is sustainability. So global challenges, global challenges uh, have, been, uh, have been to be approached from, from components to system approach, from local to global approach, from short-term short -term to long-term approach, involving open science and the society at large. Global challenges are a unique opportunity to build a better world. Following further the current international mobilizations, laws and treaties should be enacted towards these goals based on a dialogue between all stakeholders, including scientists. Particularly, this is what is done with COP27 for the climate issue, but uh, uh, it has to be enlarged to sustainability in general. The outcome of the Vietnam conference, which was on science, ethics, and human development, is the following. Scientific knowledge, technology, and innovation shape our lives, our imagination, our hopes, our fears. But beyond, it is a common universal heritage. Business, as usual, is no more an option. Every scientist, through his or her institution, especially when supported by public funds, and even if his research is curiosity and inquiry driven, must try to best connect to the society and should have in mind how his or her activity and findings could impact the world, so this is responsibility, and might be of interest for contributing to make it better and not worse. However, scientists must be given the necessary funding and freedom and the right to collaborate with the other scientists in their field to conduct their, their research, Science for Peace, and be listened to all uh, to, to be listened to at all levels of decision making and inspire that way the decision makers and the society at large. It is a balancing act to ensure societies trust their scientists and the knowledge they provide. Plead for basic and applied sustainability science. So this was the main message from Serbia uh, Belgrade conference which was also a flagship event. Sustainability science education of young people, which is multidisciplinary and integrative, should be implemented in addition to the standard STEM education. Sustainability science must be multidisciplinary, integrative, collaborative, co-constructed, and open publishing, open publishing, open data, open software, open hardware. Sustainability science is going from very basic understanding the planet habitability, modeling the Earth, down to the uh, 17 interconnected uh, sustainable development goals. The goal is to reduce poverty, to improve well-being beyond just consuming, to target global equity and a lively and healthy planet. Circular economy fueled by decarbonated energy could be the application target of the sustainability science, with a lot of innovations and new practices needed. It could benefit for that organization, from models of organization in big basic sciences, and from the IPCC and IPBES model of interaction between scientists and decision makers. A decade of actions might be necessary to implement uh, that for sustainability science. One possibility, just one possibility, an international treaty organization for sustainability science. As I said, sustainability is a global challenge. A world global response is needed. One possibility is the creation of a treaty intergovernmental organization for sustainability science inspired from big basic science model, models of organization. For example, the visionary CERN model after the Second World War. This organization, like CERN, should be inclusive, collaborative, open, with a mission to conduct, to coordinate, to capitalize all initiatives in, in that domain, in connection with all researchers of the domain, but also with the private sector, and in connection with the society at large, 
in the spirit of co-construction of science. To promote research, innovation, education, and training in that domain, to establish roadmap for sustainability, science and for sustainability in general, in close connection with the governance, following the reinforced model of IPCC and IPBES. Possible resulting actions would be the, uh, uh, after this uh, international year, implementation of open access publishing for all basic sciences papers, open data and open software. Open, open science is more important than ever to go faster, to maintain a global approach to science, which is very delicate now that we see more and more walls being erected between uh, countries or regions. Basic science can be the advanced front in open science. They should also promote equity, diversity, and inclusion into collaboration in basic sciences. Promote training and education to basic and sustainability sciences in developing countries. Connect scientists to the actors of sustainable development. As I said, a decade of sciences for sustainable development using lessons from the models of mobilization of scientists in basic sciences would be needed after this international year. So I, I hope uh, uh, you uh, uh, listen to this uh, presentation. I thank you for, for your attention. And uh, we count on, on you. And again, um, uh, I use this slogan, uh, famous slogan, yes, we can. Thank you for your, your attention and uh, have a good panel discussion. Thank you.